Hi everyone! Today I'd like to show you how to configure MSTP. First, let's see the application scenario of MSTP. When loops occur on a network, STP or RSTP can be used to prevent them. There is a defect for both RSTP and STP. All VLANs on a LAN use one spanning tree and VLAN-based load balancing cannot be performed. Once a link is blocked, it will no longer transmit traffic, wasting bandwidth and causing failure in forwarding certain VLAN packets. MSTP divides a switching network into multiple regions, each of which has multiple independent MSTIs. After the mapping between VLANs and MSTIs is configured, Data traffic is load balanced based on VLANs. In the figure, after switch C receives traffic from VLANs 10 to 30, traffic from VLANs 10 to 20 is transmitted from GE001, and traffic from VLANs 21 to 30 is transmitted from GE002. MSTP prevents loops and implements VLAN based load balancing. Let's move to the configuration roadmap. Configure basic MSTP functions on the switch. Step 1. Set the name of the MST region to RG1. Step 2. Map VLANs 10 through 20 to MSTI1 and VLANs 21 through 30 to MSTI2. Step 3. Activate the configuration of the MST region. Step 4. Configure switch A as the root bridge and switch B as the secondary root bridge in MSTI1. And configure switch B as the root bridge and switch A as the secondary root bridge in MSTI2. Step 5. In MSTI1, configure GE002 on switch C as the blocked port. In MSTI2, configure GE 001 on switch C as the blocked port. You can configure path costs of ports to specify the blocked ports. Step 6. Disable STP on the ports that do not participate in STP calculation. Step 7. Configure switches to work in MSTP mode and enable MSTP. Configure layer 2 forwarding on devices of the ring network and add all ports to VLANs 10 through 30. Let's move to the configuration procedure. Step 1. Configure switch A. Configure the MST region name of switch A, map VLANs to MSTIs 1 and 2, and activate the MST region configuration. Configure switch A as the root bridge in MSTI 1, and secondary root bridge in MSTI 2. Disable MSTP on ports that do not participate in MSTP calculation. Configure switch A to work in MSTP mode and enable MSTP. Configure layer 2 forwarding on switch A. Step 2. Configure switch B. Configure the MST region name of switch B. Map VLANs to MSTIs 1 and 2. And activate the MST region configuration. Configure switch B as the root bridge in MSTI2 and secondary root bridge in MSTI1. Configure switch B to work in MSTP mode and enable MSTP. Configure layer 2 forwarding on switch B. Step 3. Configure switch C. Configure the MST region name of switch C. Map VLANs to MSTIs 1 and 2 and activate the MST region configuration. Disable MSTP on ports that do not participate in MSTP calculation. Set the path cost of GE002 in MSTI1 to 20000 so that the port can be blocked in MSTI1. Set the path cost of GE001 in MSTI2 to 20000 so that the port can be blocked 
in MSTI 2. Configure switch C to work in MSTP mode and enable MSTP. Configure layer 2 forwarding on switch C. Let's show how to configure MSTP. Log in to switch A. Enter the system view and MST region view. Set the MST region name to RG1. Map VLANs 10 through 20 to MSTI1 and VLANs 21 through 30 to MSTI2. Activate the MST region configuration and exit from the MST region view. Configure switch A as the root bridge in MSTI1 and secondary root bridge in MSTI2. Enter the view of GE003, disable MSTP, and exit from the view of GE003. Configure switch A to work in MSTP mode and enable MSTP. Create VLANs 10 to 30 on switch A. Enter the view of GE001. Set the link type of GE001 to trunk. Configure GE001 to allow packets from VLANs 10 to 30. And exit from its view. Now enter the view of GE002. Set the link type of GE002 to trunk. Configure it to allow packets from VLANs 10 to 30. And exit from the view of GE002. The configuration of switch A is now complete. Log in to switch B. Enter the system view and MST region view. Set the MST region name to RG1. Map VLANs 10 through 20 to MSTI1 and VLANs 21 through 30 to MSTI2. Activate the MST region configuration and exit from the MST region view. Configure switch B as the root bridge in MSTI2 and secondary root bridge in MSTI1. Configure switch B to work in MSTP mode and enable NSTP. Create VLANs 10 to 30 on switch B. Enter the view of GE001. Set its link type to trunk and configure GE001 to allow packets from VLANs 10 to 30. Then exit from the view of GE001. Now enter the view of GE002. Set its link type to trunk and configure GE002 to allow packets from VLANs 10 to 30. Now exit the view of GE002. The configuration of switch B is complete. Log in to switch C. Enter the system view and MST region view. Set the MST region name to RG1. Map VLANs 10 through 20 to MST1 and VLANs 21 through 30 to MSTI2. Activate the MST region configuration and exit from the MST region view. Enter the view of GE003. Disable MSTP and exit from the view of GE003. Enter the view of GE002. Set the path cost of GE002 to 2000 in MSTI1 and exit from the view of GE002. Enter the view of GE001. Set its path cost to 2000 in MSTI2 and exit from the view of GE001. Configure switch C to work in MSTP mode and enable MSTP. Create VLANs 10 to 30 on switch C. Enter the view of GE001. Set the link type of GE001 to trunk and configure it to allow packets from VLANs 10 to 30. Now exit from the view of GE001. Enter the view of GE002. Set its link type to trunk. Configure GE002 to allow packets from VLANs 10 to 30. Now exit from its view. The configuration of switch C is complete. 
The MST configuration is complete. Let's see the MSTP configuration result. Run the display STP brief command on switch C. In the command output, GE002 on switch C is the alternate port in MSTI1 and in discarding state. GE002 is blocked in MSTI1 and does not forward traffic. GE001 is the alternate port in MSTI2 and in discarding state. GE001 is blocked in MSTI2 and does not forward traffic. That is, the MSTP configuration is now complete. To obtain more information about common configurations and features of Huawei switches, you can refer to the All About Switches threads on Huawei's Enterprise Support Community site. You can find these threads by entering the following in Google's search field, open quote, all about switches, close quote, site, colon, Huawei.com. Then click any of the links displayed to enter Huawei's enterprise support community. All about switches threads describe typical configurations and address frequently asked questions about Huawei switches. For more details about features, please visit the community homepage. That's all for today's lesson.